What is good, YouTube? We're back with another video. This video is delayed. It should have been uploaded a long time ago. Um, it's from my New York trip, which I just got back from like a week ago, I think. Yeah. But I'll do a whole separate video about my whole New York trip, my New York experience. It's an experience. But I have a special video today when I was walking around New York. Well, not walking around. I had some places of mine that I wanted to go. But on my second to last day, I ran into somebody and I got the chance to interview him. And I asked him, I said, hey, bro, can I do an interview for my YouTube channel real quick? He was real cool about it. He said, nice. He said, all right. We did it. It was probably like a five minute interview. And he's, a if you know him, he's a very inspiring guy. How he came up, it's crazy. Came from nothing too. Came from selling shoes from, from his trunk. Started with phone posits. Well, that's phone posits used to be the shit. Um, but I interviewed him, asked him a couple questions, and this might come off cringy because I was starstruck. I, mean, I was shaking and I was like, damn. He's actually right here. I'm gonna ask him a couple questions. It's fucking crazy. But right now I'm sick. That's why I sound kind of shaking right now. My voice is low key gone. I've been coughing all day and everything. But I want to get this video out as soon as possible. Well, it's, it's hella late right now. It's like this video was done, was filmed June twentieth. But that's not the issue. But um, I'm gonna let y'all watch the interview, and I get right back at y'all. It's over. I think it's like five minutes long. But alright, bye. What's good? What's good? <laughs> Buying out tables. Buying out tables. Literally. 
It's crazy. That 60 grand, how he has a retire. No cap. Right. It's been fun growing the brand in very different ways, right? But, um, it's a lot of childhood shit. Just being you know, kind of coming to life together. Like, One more question on top of that. How do you overcome the I don't think I'm going to be I, I say it a lot, like, your haters are people that, look, if I'm the worst part of their day and this is what they want to talk about, then so do you. Like, you got a good life, and you're complaining about me. Um, and, uh, like, I can't take that hate and pay my bills for it. I can't take that hate and, like, grow for it. So, I pay attention a little. Because there's, there might be some truth to the things that you're hating on, and you try to tune it, but I'm not here to make up about it, I'm not here to take care of those that allow me to make a dollar with them, and I'm here to uh, see what I'm going to do. Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you very much, brother. Much love. We're back. I know that video was probably kind of noisy, probably kind of cringy, but it happened. I was fucking hella hype after we got done filming it. It was crazy. Like, I was so hype, I forgot to take a picture with them. I have to come back on my last day to take a picture with them because he was still there. But, um, yeah, he's a hella cool person. Hella cool person. He's hella chill. He's he's open. But, like, if you film their store or take pictures of you got to tag him on Instagram posts. So, if I didn't say it, all his information will be in the description. Check out his Instagram. It's crazy. He's probably one of the known people to buy out whole collections and shit. But I heard some negative things about him, how people don't like him, but mostly positive. I got nothing for respect about him. He's about his business. He makes his money. He appreciates shoes like his collection. He has a collection video. Watch that too. Watch that. But yeah, this back there in the last clip. That was distracting. I know that the whole the lining right there. I have to fix that real quick. So if it looks weird back here, I fixed it. Cause I was watching it. I was like, bro, I don't want to redo the whole thing, but I did. So I fixed that. But yeah, just really probably one. I think the top. Yeah, top five things I did in New York. I ranked that as number two. Um. Because I was hella happy when I met him. I, like, when I was walking to his store, I seen his wife out there. What's her name? Jody Bean? Something like that. Yeah, I seen his wife. I was like, oh, shit, he in there. Walked in there. I was like, damn. First thought, oh, he's hella short, but shit. No, <laughs> he, he, oh, he, he is short. I think he's like 5'6". But um, he's hella chill dude. Hella chill dude. He's humble. Yeah, he's just in there really just minding his business, walking around and shit. Like, I don't think people knew that he was a store owner, but yeah. Total respect for him. His shop was icy, clean. This is, I think it's the second store. He has one in Vegas where he started out at, and now New York City. But I got nothing else to say. That's really about it. Thank you. If you're watching this, probably not. For let me interview. Nothing for respect. For you man this cold is kicking my ass right now. but i'm gonna get back at y'all later make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button comment something um shirts check my instagram for that if there's any updates about shirts releasing um it's at king kamu follow that too like my pictures like everything but um i'm gonna get back at you later peace